What is up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforged. We are finally reacting to the brand new teaser trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Before we get into the reaction, though, I want to let you know you can check out all the uncut reactions for all the movies and shows we've been watching, including X-Men, the animated series. We are oh. on our way to the end of that series in anticipation of X-Men 97. Season 4 is about to drop on Patreon, and then we'll get to Season 5, and then you'll be able to watch them all on YouTube. It'll be a hoot and a holler in time, um, and I'm sure sure we haven't figured out exactly what order we're going to do it in well we, we will get to deadpool 1 and deadpool 2 as well oh, for and sure. maybe sprinkle in some x-men movies you never know oh yeah you never oh yeah know. yeah the oh, other yeah. thing i want to i want to promote real quick while every while millions of people are watching this reaction <laughs> video real quick uh is that every other tuesday night at 7 p.m in our discord community link below right there we have a free to listen to comic book show live. We talk about all different types of comic books. You can listen in. And if you want it to even be a part of the show, if you've got a microphone, you can. It's just an audio only show. It's like a little radio live show. Mm -hmm. and we're talking comics, dude. And comic books are yep. great. Absolutely. And every Wednesday we do a live show on the Chexons channel. We do our podcast yes. live 7 p.m. Pacific time. You can watch along. You can ask questions. We interact with you guys. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. But I believe it's time to get into this. <gasps> Teaser. No more chit chat, bros. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I'm feel it in, in my plums. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. Happy birthday to Wow, you. whoa, look Christ at that hair. Is that. Oh, Colossus. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's because of each and every one of them. The hair is terrible. I'm oh, great. Alive. Make a wish, buddy. Uh oh, Jesus no. Christ. Wade Wilson? Who's asking? The TVA! Whoa, 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 whoa. Is whoa, that the whoa, TVA? Whoa. Yes! Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo. But it is for Disney. <laughs> yes! Oh, it is yes. the TVA! Oh, it's back! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> Mr. Wilson. You appear to have soiled yourself or unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Oh my god. Walk with me. Yo, no, this way. is no, no right way. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among Oh my heroes. god. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. It's Spell happening. What you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change. Yes! <laughs> oh my God! The Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh God, I missed him. Wow. The 20th okay. Century Fox logo. God, please! Oh my God! Was that Doctor Doom? No. Was it? Oh, this part. oh my god, no. that's Pyro! From X2! It was Pyro! Oh crap, it was. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here comes, oh, here comes god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god! Oh, I can't man. believe it! Why am I so excited about this? Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Oh my yeah! god, in the X-Men 90 or X-Men suit. Oh my god. Oh, that's it! Oh, I can't you that's son all they gave of a us. bitch. No. Fuck. Yes, it's dude. okay. It's okay. <laughs> Integrating Deadpool into the MCU via the mm -hmm. TVA is the most yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant, obvious choice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I absolutely. just can't wait to see who else he interacts with in the TVA. Like, will there be any mm -hmm. potential crossover with Loki? Could we see Owen Wilson in a cameo? Mm -hmm. Like, all those mm -hmm. questions. I think it's all possible, obviously, because they're going to the same TVA that we've just spent two seasons yeah. in. Right. Um, yeah. I, I do like that there is currently no mention of Kang in, anywhere in this, so right, that's awesome. Right, right. Um, but this looks exciting. Um, I don't know if they're over promising. <laughs> Obviously, it's mm -hmm. a little silly with yeah. uh, Wade saying he is the Marvel Jesus or whatever. But right, right. Uh, it's fun to see sure. this kind of energy interjected into the MCU right now. Yeah, I think yeah. it's so fun. For sure, I think it's exactly what the MCU needs at this point. Yeah, it's kind of everything I had always hoped for for years. Yeah. I feel yeah. just like so vindicated because for years 
people on the internet, dude bros were like, dude, the MCU is for little babies. It'll never do anything rated R. And I was mm-hmm. just like, yeah. slow your roll. Like you don't know what they could eventually pivot to and focus right. on. Yeah. And I'm still not happy about a Disney Fox merger. Uh, that's right. never good because a bunch of people lost their jobs. Uh, yeah. but well, it's also just I'm not, not good for the industry, it. period. Not at all. Right. Not at all. Um, and, you know, in a perfect world, the companies would have stayed separate, but they still would have been able to pull something like this off the same way that, like, the Tom Holland Spider-Man is, exists because of a deal between Sony and Disney and whatever. But just, yeah. like, seeing Deadpool, I'm sorry, frankly, like, seeing him home in the Marvel Universe which is mm-hmm. where he's always been a part of and deserves to be. That's the reason people fell in love with him from the comics is because mm-hmm. of the fact that he can be a part of his own stories for sure and be the lead in his own stories, but he can also just like interact with and mess with right. all these other mm-hmm. characters yeah. that we love. Yeah. So, right. but the cool thing is, is that they're using this. I'm so happy about this too. They're using this as an excuse to do this great big maybe a farewell send off to the Hugh Jackman mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that yeah, we n- yeah. still never got even after right. Logan which is this beautiful film we never got this like yeah. comic booky you know wearing the yellow costume mm-hmm. version of right, Wolverine right. I mean I I have to imagine that Ryan Reynolds and team are fully aware and Marvel Studios are of fully course. aware of how much people love the X-Men and how much mm-hmm. they love yeah. the X-Men animated series, the comics mm-hmm. that have yeah. come out in the past 50 years. Like that's what yeah. is, that's what this feels like it's going to be a celebration of. And yeah. yeah, part of that is that they're in the Marvel universe. Like, look, dude, he had a Chris Evans cameo in Free Guy. If there's right. any right. chance right. that uh, uh, an actor who was previously like retired from this franchise would come back, it's going to be for Deadpool 3. Because mm-hmm. it's this yeah. TVA, multiversal, anything goes type of scenario. <laughs> and this is yeah. directed by the guy that directed Free Guy. So it's both of those, right. yeah. you know, bringing that, that uh, collaboration together again, mm-hmm. setting it in the MCU. I think we're mm-hmm. going to see a bunch of insanely fun cameos. But yeah. I also yeah. still think it's going to be a, it opened on Wade's birthday. Like it's going to be right. a Ryan Reynolds Deadpool movie. Absolutely. And I'm Absolutely. very, yeah. very yeah. happy about that. I think I think they're going to treat the cameos just like they have in the past, where it's just quick. They just happen, and then you move on. But I do want to see Chris Evans come back as Johnny the Human Torch, not as, <laughs> as Johnny the Human Torch. Right? Don't That'd be a see great you to the audience. I'm, I'm, it would be a exactly. Great. I'd, it would be amazing if they brought him back as Johnny the Human Torch. But you yeah. know, yeah, one can dream. One can dream. Right. I, I mean, like how that, you're saying that his name is Johnny the Human Torch, like yeah. that's the character's <laughs> full name, not yes. Johnny Storm. It is not the Human Torch. No, his name is Johnny, Johnny the, Human the Human Torch. Yeah. Johnny the Human Torch. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I think we've had so many conversations about this is even going back before the Fox merger. If th- there was any sort of a chance that Deadpool would be integrated into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I feel like we've been saying it since day one that he has to be super. Uh, aware of the fact of what's going on and that it has Mm -hmm. to be a part of the movie that he is constantly referencing the fact that, Oh, now I'm crossing over into the Disney universe. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I'm going to have to like be sworn to never swear in a movie or, but you know, when Mm -hmm. we were kind of like toying around the idea of maybe it not being R it being PG 13, but the fact that in this trailer, Yep. He addresses it from the beginning about the pegging, mm-hmm. but it's new yeah. for Disney. <laughs> I love that. And that's what the movie yeah. should in part be about exactly. is the acknowledgement exactly. of like, man, corporate mergers, they're a real son of a bitch, but Hey, yeah. we're now making Disney money. You know, yeah, fun. I also do hope that they just don't like kneecap what they can talk about. Listen, you got to let that be Deadpool. You got to let I him agree. say whatever he wants to say. Sorry, Bob Iger. <laughs> I feel like there have been cases where Disney's been able to poke fun at itself, but like yeah. this one, uh, you need to go full blown. You need to totally. really yeah. let this team oh, yeah. like rip into it. Um, let them. I think cook. we saw the back. As the kids say, the "Let them cook." Of, uh, let them cook. <laughs> as, the, as the kids say, I think we saw the back of Charles Xavier's head. I think we saw Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, but in a white suit. I think he's going to be Patch. Yeah. I think he's doing Patch. Oh, where he's wearing the, in the casino. <laughs> Where yeah, and yeah. like usually Wolverine in the comics will like go undercover in Madripoor and Madripoor has already been shown to us in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Right. And he has this uh-huh. alias that he calls himself Patch and he wears an eye patch and he like yeah. runs a bar. And he wears that white suit. That white suit, dude. I think that yeah. I think we were walking up in a casino behind Patch. And mm-hmm. that's awesome. <laughs> but maybe what if, what if it's like Hugh Jackman playing all the versions of Wolverine we never got to see? 
Just that like would be amazing. Skipping around yeah. into different universes. That would be awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, that would be great. Well, here's a question for you guys, too. Do you think that, you know, they're treating this, the tagline, part of the tagline at least says everyone deserves one happy ending. Do you think that this yeah. will be the final time we see Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool? And no. do you think that the TVA is crossing into what's left over of the 20th century Fox universe and bringing yes. him into the MCU and then he goes back or do you think he stays? Um, well, in the beginning of the trailer, question. they tell him that he's special and that he mm -hmm. can be a hero. I have a feeling they're trying to recruit uh, Deadpool to do something like they were trying to recruit Loki towards the end mm -hmm. to help out the TVA, right? And so I think they're still a functioning kind of entity. Uh, and I think they recognize as Deadpool as like that anomaly that can either help or like, I, we still don't know obviously what the, what the situation is. I think he's going to be one of the factors of still consolidating those timelines that are kind of going out of control. We also don't know where in the timeline this is happening. Do we like, is this before the events no. of Loki? Is this after the events of Loki? We're not sure. Good in question. terms of that, so, no. I would imagine for simplicity's sake, this is fun that we're getting to speculate about this. Now that we have yeah. some details, we're looking yeah. at like, right. I'm looking at Deadpool get his ass clapped and I'm like, yeah. what does this mean for the TVA timeline? <laughs> like, I, I would yeah. imagine for simplicity's sake, this is going to be post the events of Loki season two. Mm -hmm. And I also imagine that Wade is being recruited because they're actually going to lean into the fact that like, they're going to explain how can he break the fourth wall. Right. He's like a yeah. nexus mm -hmm. being or some kind of a character, yeah. a person who knows that he's a fictional character, like in a certain yeah. reality. And they'll mm -hmm. need that skill. They'll actually need mm -hmm. that skill for something. Do mm -hmm. I think that yeah. he's going to stay in the MCU? I don't know, but I, I, I feel like it would be fitting if he was able to stay and retire in his own universe with his wife with and Vanessa, his like yeah. with Vanessa and the supporting characters in his world. But the thing is, is that they've opened this door. They don't have to close it again. Like Deadpool will mm -hmm. go going right. forward if they want to do a fourth film. Right. And again, I can imagine it's gonna. This is gonna make a billion fucking dollars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And Ryan has a blast make doing this, doing this, playing this character. And now they have all the toys to play with. I can right. imagine that they're mm -hmm. already considering doing a fourth. He can easily oh, go yeah. from his native reality, pop over into ours. I don't think right. he needs to be native to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's already a fourth wall breaking character. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think we yeah. might even see She-Hulk in this. I think he's going to turn to the camera and, or turn to the TVA and go, well, if you need somebody who can, who knows they're in a show or a movie, why not Jennifer Walters? <laughs> yeah. And they'll have mm -hmm. some reason for why it can't be She-Hulk. It needs to be mm -hmm. Deadpool. But I think yeah. that this is also basically just going to serve as a as a celebration and a farewell to the Fox X Men characters, mm -hmm. yeah. pulling all yeah. the best stuff from those movies because not all of it was good. But they're going right. to celebrate mm -hmm. what was good. And then I think mm -hmm. Deadpool, honestly, after seeing this trailer, I'm like, I think he might be in Secret Wars. I think he might be in Avengers. Probably because I think he's going to be in the MCU be going incredible. forward for forever. Yeah, I think he's yeah, just going to be. Maybe. In it. I think I think he's one of these characters. Obviously, he can't die. I don't think they're ever going to write a movie where he says sure, Deadpool sure. dead. Like this is not his final sure. movie. He's going to be like a Wolverine character where mm -hmm. you yeah. can't really kill him. He's going to keep coming yeah. back. His illness can't kill him. He's going to keep coming back. So I think we're gonna, yeah. I think we're stuck with Deadpool. I think we're stuck with this guy for a long well, time. The, the nice thing too, you know, a guy like Ryan Reynolds, he's so, you know, he's in his mid forties now. But mm -hmm. he has such a he's so youthful in his mm -hmm. demeanor and in, in sure. his attitude. And he's a very yeah. fit guy. Obviously, I mm -hmm. could see him playing Deadpool for at least another. I mean, look at Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, yeah. I think, mm -hmm. is in his mid 50s at this point, maybe early mm -hmm. 50s, probably. So and he still looks incredible mm -hmm. as Wolverine. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I have all the yeah. faith in the world that if Ryan Reynolds is very happy with how this movie turns out. If Marvel Studios is very happy with how it turns out, if the fans love the movie yeah. and they're like, we mm -hmm. want more of this, we want to see Deadpool yeah. doing more of these sorts of things, popping in other universes and or just interacting with the main continuity of the yeah. Marvel Cinematic Universe and making references like, you're the third version of the X-Men I've had to deal with now. Right, I think that would right, be right. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> And and yeah. I think that yeah, it could go on for another ten years. And obviously, when we yeah, say ten yeah, years, absolutely. it could be one, two, three more movies in this over the span of ten mm -hmm. years. It could be mm -hmm. him popping into other shows. I think that it's a really cool opportunity to do something unique with this character because he can yeah. pop in and out. He can yeah. play, you know, in in the R rated world, the PG thirteen world, and be self referential about it. Like hell, he could, you know. Deadpool could be the reason why maybe we get a movie like Blade 
in the MCU to be rated R, mm-hmm. which yeah. would be really cool uh, if they, you know, know into that sort of a thing. So I'm yeah. looking forward to it. And we're also yeah. obviously very excited to see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine as long yeah. as, which they did promise, it's not going to in any way disrupt <laughs> what uh, Logan was for that character, no. which I'm mm-hmm. happy with. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Can't wait. Uh, Hector, I have good news for you. Yeah. This movie will be available in IMAX, Dolby no. Cinema, <gasps> and uh, in 3D. Oh my God, the first Deadpool movie in 3D. In 3D. Oh, yep. hell shit, yeah. dude. Yep. You're oh, welcome. Dang. You can see that blood. Oh. You can see those blood cheeks in 3D. <laughs> hell, it's going to be glorious. Hell, glorious. Uh, gonna I be, hope. I'm watching them at home with my Apple Vision Pro. Dude, hell yeah. I honestly <laughs> hope that there is a part where he's like, how do those ass cheeks look in 3D, boys? <laughs> that would be incredible. It's not so, too late. Awesome. It's not too late, Ryan. Put that line in the movie. Go back and put that Just line in the movie. Just throw it in there. Dub it, it over. There. Just dub uh, put it, it, would be put it for Hector. Just do it for Hector. So, as soon as I saw that in the press release, I was like, I got to bring that up during the trailer reaction oh, because I know man. that yeah. that is like one of the coolest things that's, <gasps> that's going to happen. It is. That's a big it's deal. Huge. It really is. It's huge. huge. So wow. those first two Deadpool movies were a little bit more oh. low budget, especially the first. So it's nice uh. to see the Marvel Studios threw some money uh, towards the 3D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Overall. And I think yeah. the last 3D X-Men movie, I think, was uh, X-Men uh, Apocalypse, which came wow. out like Not even Dark Phoenix, huh? No, Dark Phoenix Dang. was not in 3D. Dang. See what I'm saying? So this is like, well, this makes me feel know. great. <laughs> all good stuff yeah. all good things all good, all good stuff uh but yeah. of course let us know your thoughts do you have any theories as to where you think this story could go will this be the last appearance of deadpool or will it be the first of many new appearances of deadpool in the marvel cinematic universe and how is the tva how is loki gonna play to all this uh i'd love to know everyone's theories and if you're interested in, in watching us revisit some of these old movies let us know as well make sure you check out x-men the animated series on patreon and on youtube it's a uh, Hoot and holler in time. Uh, check out everything else that we're doing on the channel, including the Chicksons podcast. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.